Hi, I'm Katie Palmer, Curator of Education, and today we're here to talk about MIM Kids Musical Adventures, a class for six to 10 year olds that discovers the world music cultures we have on display in MIM's galleries. I have my friend Maddox here. Maddox, can you give him a wave? And he's been a longtime musical adventurer with us, and Maddox really likes to learn about world music and world cultures. Is that right, Maddox? Yes. Yes. And so Maddox wanted to learn more about Egypt, which is where we're gonna head today. So we're gonna spend some time in the galleries and we're gonna look for different instruments and then come down and get inspired to build our own instruments to take home. So Maddox, I think we can build a goblet drum together using what we saw upstairs as inspiration. So how should we start? What do you think is the first thing we should do? Um, well, I think we should like use the glue dots to glue the, to glue them together. Yeah, perfect. So I think inside here, can you take out the other piece? Yeah, show me how those would go together as a goblet. You could like put you could put the glue dots on these. Yeah, we absolutely could. Great. So pass me the glue dots and I'll help. And do me a favor, just show us so that the camera can see how they're going to go together once we've got the glue dots. Yeah, look at that nice goblet shape. All right, Just so we've... To check. Is it staying? I like it. It was all those extra glue dots we put on. Yeah. So we've got a really good shape of the goblet now. How do we get it to make sound? Um, well, you could like put tape over it. I think that's what those tapes are for. Yeah, so we need or to we build. we could just use a different type of tape. You want to use a colored tape? Yeah, yeah, okay. let's try a color tape. What color? Um, blue. Blue, great choice. So we've built a couple drum heads together, but that's what we need to do is we need to create the drum head here. And do you remember how we've done that in the past? Let's just like make a, mm -hmm. let's do this. Sure. Let's see how far it goes. Bull, 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 bull. So I'll do the scissors. If you do, pull, pull, pull. Can you put your finger right here? I promise not to cut it. All right, let's do another piece. We've got to go all the way around the drum. Now let's do this side. Sure. What do you think happens when we add more tape? It goes over the edge. Yeah, it goes over the edge. And what do you think that more tape will do to our sound? Put your finger right here for um, me. It will um, like make it denser. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it'll make it so that it's easier to hear the drum, right? So I just, <laughs> we made an X. We made an X. Let's keep it going. That's Two. good. Only a tiny bit. Okay. And now let's try it. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, it's really mm. sounding good. Now, let's make some details on the outside. I like it. It's really wrinkly. That's okay. I think it looks quite nice. I would say rather than wrinkles, it adds texture. We can play a couple different sounds. So in the middle of our drum, can you make a doom sound here? Yeah, that's a good doom. And then could you make a tech sound on the outside? So let's just go doom, tech, doom, tech. Try it. Doom, tech, doom, tech. Doom, tech, 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 doom, tech. Yeah, you're getting a lot of really great sounds out of your drum. Thanks for making a drum with me. I appreciate it. Yeah. Should we add more decoration? Yeah, on okay. the bottom, because that's the only part that isn't really decorated. Mm -hmm. 